All right, all right, all right, Eugene's back here repair here for another. Working on a Toro Recycler mower. Uh, seven horsepower, it looks like. That's what it says, I don't believe it. But anyway, no, 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 only 190cc, but uh, it's possible, I mean, I don't know. You look up cc's and the, the, you, it's hard to find the rating. But anyway, so we're working on a Toro self-propelled seven horsepower mower so uh not sure what's wrong with it uh had to pick up two of them yesterday from a local ukrainian uh camp uh resort whatever it is anyway uh i already fixed one the one wasn't wasn't too big of an issue this one uh they said they don't know what's wrong with it so uh we're gonna take this one apart and see what it needs what the stupid shield is for. Most of them are missing. Yes, I cleaned this off. It was not did not look like this. You know the back air repair always cleans everything off. Even if it, even if I can't get the run, I clean I still clean it off. Take the air gun. There's no debris behind this uh, filter cover. I think what we're going to do first is we're going to pull the filter cover off. Uh, of course, it's uh, two different sizes. It's like 5 16 or 8 millimeter here. I don't know. Looks like they might all be the same. It's a miracle. Get our uh, mat here. Hold our screws so we don't have to keep track of them. Mat the kneel on. I'm more, so I might as well start using it. I'm about to kneel on the, the board here where uh, I've uh, blown off 50 grains on. If I remember right, I think these screws actually hold the carburetor on too. Maybe not. I hope not. No, it doesn't. Some of these just uh, push on. Oh. That's where the oldest mower is. It's really hard to find the tags on these mowers to give a give a year. What's the time they don't give any year on? Yeah, look for a tag for a, with a model number and I'm run the model number. And that won't give you exactly, it'll give you a, between this date and this date. So it'll be a, like 2002 to 2005 or 2005 to 2008, you know, whatever it is. There's the cover. Not too bad. Um, hit that with some air and blow the stuff off the back. Doesn't matter now. Do I like to put them back clean? Yeah. I like to give me a new answer. Put them back uh, clearly when I took them apart. How's that? All right, next I think we're going to uh, find me a pair of pliers. I think I'm going to pull off the fuel line. I'm know the tank's empty. And then maybe I'll see if I can get this car rear off so I can take the bowl. Never find the pliers when you need them. Everything seems to be at the bottom of the drawer. No matter how many times you've used it. Like my wrenches, all the ones I use will end up at the top. Pliers, it ends up backwards, like it's like it's in the 
quicksand. There's these things to the bottom. Just because there'll be one tool I barely use and then I, I go looking for it in the toolbox so I end up having to take I end up having to take half this stuff out to find the tool that you don't use that often and then when I put it all back in, the tool I use will end up at the bottom. Ooh, uh, that's always a good indication. It's snowing out the fuel line. Great. I'm getting some water. I'm getting some water intruded into this carburetor family. Get rag and some uh, brake cleaner. I'm gonna sit down and uh, at least get the start to flush the line out. Uh, yeah, when you see that white powder, it's uh, it's aluminum. It's a uh, aluminum powder. I think I can pull the line right off. Maybe. No. They were not putting their uh, brake cleaner back into the tank. Uh, yeah. I don't even want to know what the bottom of this bowl looks like but uh we're going to know what the bottom of this bowl looks like i'll be either good or i'll be uh be part two of this video i'll be ordering the car bread <coughs> hose looks okay that debris was only it's hard to see it was only only at the end of it <coughs> put the brake cleaner back up on the bench let me have a rag here for my hand. Yeah. It's bad. Water no. starts eating the aluminum. That's bad. Uh, a re or, uh, oh, I thought there was a hole in the in the rebreather line here, but there's not. I can say it's just another place for to boil water into it, but it's not. It's clean. Ah, oh, what's it take to get this off? Hmm. Looks like he's got a... Go over there, it runs across. Got a single spring over here. What's this? More stuff for the governor. Okay, so this, this is part of this joke. Which, uh, Doesn't move that well. I think we're just gonna uh, grab a wrench and see if I can just get the bowl off. Guessing it's gonna be metric. Grab the uh, 12 and a 13 so when it's not metric, you can come back and get the half. Hang on. Yeah. Let's bring the sockets over and then I'll go back for the ratchet. Just have to get the other set. Huh. 14? That's a... 9, 16, 14, they're about the same. That's a big plug. I still might be yanking this carburetor if that, uh, depending on what the bowl looks like and if uh, the gas just falls off with it.
just drink water. It's got water in it. It's a gasket. Alright, we're gonna mark this bowl so we know which way's front. Yeah, the plug's out. It's wet and you can smell the water. The hole down the middle is clogged solid. All we do is with the marker, matter of fact, I should grab a. Grab me a pick too. I was doing this with the marker and then I brake clean it or wire brush it and I take the marker off. Mark it, and then we'll scratch. Alright. We got some, like I said, some of these bowls, I've shown in my last video, have highs and lows spots in them. You gotta put them back on the right way. If not, the float can't drop. I'm gonna put the fuel line up here on the bench before it sits on that tire. And then I can't see it because it's the same color. Good thing is the foot dropped. Bad thing is it, it definitely had water in it. You can see in the bottom of that bowl. Alright, we're gonna pause you for one second here. We're gonna get this cleaned out. We're gonna run some uh brake clean through the through the fuel where the fuel line goes to make sure that the the needle's not plugged. The foot drop. Yeah, I still want to make sure the needle's not plugged. Alright, bring you back once I get this clean. Yeah, pretty well cleaned out. Just took some brake cleaner. Uh, I'm worried about this gasket failing. I'm gonna look at my stash, see if I have another one. Hang on. Looks like I don't have another one. I swear I bought all these, but uh, the small ones seem like they're too small, and the other ones are too fat. If I can get this skinnier one on the carburetor, it might. If I can get it on the carburetor first, I might get it to work. Because the other ones are, the other ones are too fat compared to this one. It's quite the uh, bigger than the bowl. All right, hang on one second. We'll bring it back when I get this back together. All right, like I said, we're gonna try putting in the smaller one on the bowl or uh, on the carburetor and see if I uh, see if we get the bowl to go back on. I have the one in my hand too, so. Pine sap all over it too. Just wonder why my hands keep sticking to it. This thing was not well taken care of. I can tell you that. <sighs> what about this system right here? I think I'm gonna have to unhook it because it needs to stay behind. Let's find a piece of hose. I'm gonna check the float. The float's good. I might just try sending it. Hang on. All right, looks like we're pulling the carburetor. I don't like uh, people pulling the stuff behind you. I don't like how that uh, that float is working. I have a feeling that uh, that white powder is inside the needle seat and it's not shutting off. See my tools I can drop. I'm gonna bring the tools with me. That would make sense. Start by pulling the choke arm off here. Hope that I can just put that to the side without knocking the spring off of it. Yeah. 
can. Uh, like I said, I don't know what's on this deck, but it is taking me. Uh, 10 milliliter? 3s. Which will it be? Well, that one looks easy. Looks like it's actually 3 eighths. I don't know how 10 milliliter got them, but it did. Linkage in the back here. Looks like a single. Well, that's good. It came off by float sitting really, really, really high. Really high. Alright, let me move some stuff around here and back you guys up. That floats way, way high. Can you guys see? Right, pull the pin. Doesn't look like the water intruded into the inside too bad. Good thing is this is not a rubber tip. The metal tip so I have I have them seals it looks pretty good inside I have carburetor cleaner here somewhere yeah let's do this on my cleaner of the rags on the bench here one that I keep drying my hands with and I'll pick one with the silicone or something all over it pick a clean one that way we can use up all the rags Look at even the lip. I see nothing coming through this. I can see it bleeding through. Everything green. All right, so that's clear. Coming out to the out the emotion tube to the inside. Just even like this is a low speed pickup. This is like rusty. People, you gonna leave your lawnmower outside? Just stick a garbage bag over. Put a garbage bag over it. Over the top of it. Set a rock on the front. Rock on the rear to hold the garbage bag from blowing away. Or, or a bungee cord around the engine, they're good. All right, we're gonna move you away from the camera while I blow this off. A little WD 40 on this. Uh, this uh, end here will uh, help with it. It seems to be not coming back up. Oh, boy. Let's try that. Sounded better. All right. Like I said everything looks good. I think we're gonna reassemble this and we're gonna check this uh, needle. I do have uh, new seats, so just half the time I find out if I change the seat, I gotta change the needle too. 
Well, drop down a little bit. No, I can't get nothing out of this. Not sure where it's clogged at, but it, it's clogged. I have a small wire I can run through them. All right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit on the wire wheel over here on the bench, and uh, bring it back. I'm gonna run a, I got a torch tip cleaner. I'm gonna run through there. All right, I took my uh, torch tip cleaner. Right here, it's a bunch of small wires and. Took the small one and carefully ran through the middle. Let's try it now. It could be just the rubbers hardened up on the on the seat here and the closed it off. That's an all feel we know it plays really nice with everything. Now it seems to be working. All right, I'm gonna see if I can uh, open up this and push that emulsion tube. I'm not gonna push it hard. I'll see if I can push the emulsion tube out with a screwdriver. I like to pop that out so I can make sure the holes in the side of that are clean. But uh, sometimes they don't come out. Nah. Nope. I'm gonna take my torch tip cleaner here and uh, find a wire that will go through the middle of this and just run a wire to it. Wire goes all the way through. Doesn't mean that the little holes in the side are clean, but. Here's my bowl. I guess because it's probably too small. If I can get it on here, then it will seal. My mark. That's not the front. So there was no gasket on the front to get the seat on the engine. Oh, I know, I forgot to clean. <laughs> I forgot to clean the jet out. I would have been uh, thinking that something else is clogged when it wasn't. Uh. The ethanol is so bad on the end of it, I'm afraid. Well, I just went with it like it was, I'd be shoving the stuff into the jet instead of taking it out. So that's why I hit it on the wire wheel. Try to clean off some of that stuff. It's a pretty big hole in the jet. Yeah, really big. You can blow right straight through this. I don't see you, uh... Yeah, it's a really big hole. It's clear. Comes in the top, out the sides. It's clear. Now with this bowl gasket hole. Like I said, it's a little bit thinner than that one, but technically, technically it shouldn't overflow or shouldn't leak unless the float isn't working. The fuel should never reach to that level. Squirrely. I think I might go back to the old one. Well, if nothing else, I'm cleaning the thread out. Yeah, this one seems a little thin. Whew. 
amount of junk on this one. Uh, no, backwards. Goes on. Hopefully, if it gets a little fuel on it, it'll soften up a little bit. Thought I had it started. Tighten. Yeah, it don't move now. <sighs> Put that one back over there. What do I need? I don't need this. I don't think I need the wrench. Got that there. I don't think there's anything off the bench here I need except for maybe the needle load. Alright, let's see if we can. Reassemble this without too much hassle. Linkage is on. Probably the hardest part is going to be to get the screws to start up behind the carburetor here. Because it really isn't straight. It needs to be a needs to have a longer piece in between this and the sock. Uh, uh, not driver, because the, the screwdriver is kind of hitting the side of the carburetor on the one side. This side is clear. I figured it took it off and should put it back. These you want to make sure it's tight. The gasket stayed on to the end inside. This is like an old ring gasket type. Yep. Back in. There's a little pin that sticks at the bottom of this. A little notch on here. We can check it in a second. Once I tighten it up. Tight. Working. That's good. That's good. That's good. Fuel line. <laughs> That's it. There's nothing off this bench end either. Huh. I'm going to run some carburetor cleaners through this. If I had a new piece of hose, I'd be swapping it. But I don't. With the old, I'm with the old. Get the pitch clamp back on. All right, what else we need here? We can move this and this. Actually, this is just a snap on the magnetic mat. Your belt. You ever see the commercials for the crazy Uber? Where they stick it on the guy's head and then he sticks it on the beam and then they pull the pull the beam in the air. I bet you can get a metal helmet and that was boots and some or climbing something. You can stick that to your metal helmet and it'll pick you up. It's, <laughs> it's tough. My son got that for me for in Christmas. Yes, this case is not at all, but uh, that's not what's in there. I think. I don't know. It might be now. I'm not gonna put a lot in there in case I have to take the line back off. Pickups at the bottom of this one, so that should be enough. 
Let's see what happens. Make sure I'm away from the mat. I think this one's still got a dry problem. I think uh, I think it's misadjusted. It's a long story. Huh. I'm reaching out here for the full start. No much room in here. Oh, got to squeeze the brake. Hmm. I'm about to spray this. There ain't much room for this garage. Let's not spray it with paint. Let's <laughs> spray with a little starting fluid. It's got the upper, upper cylinder, cylinder lubricant in it, so for all the haters. Somewhere to put fuel in this thing. I don't feel like pulling out the syringe just for a little bit of fuel. I think I got another can of, uh, yeah, it's way up there. Starting fluid. That was almost empty. Need my magnet. It's way up on the shelf above, above the door back here. That other can's almost empty. Of course I won't put this one down here, I'll put this one back on the shelf and the other can will almost be empty still. Here's that. Starting for it. Here's another version of it. With upper whoops. With upper cylinder lubricant. It's getting a little flat. It's glare from the lights. Problem is I can't hold the brake, start the thing and spray some of the starting for them. So it picks it up. Maybe something to tie that the rope that was on it. Just trying to hold the brake. Socket here. Check that bowl. Make sure I got fuel in the bowl. Hold on, there's fuel in the bowl. We're pouring out. Yeah. Can't keep this choke shut. Fortunately this choke runs off the off the flywheel, so as soon as it starts the choke is off. I'm trying to think if there's some way I can keep the choke on. Hello Daddy, I'm awake. Back off. Really, what? I give it enough time to get the fuel pulled.
not pulling fuel yet. Come on. motion tube. The holes are clogging on the side. I need to get it out. Some way, somehow. I'm trying to find me another rag here. So you get hot in the garage. Alright, we're going to pause you. You don't need to watch me pull this twice. It makes, makes the video too long. I'll be back. Alright, let's try round two of this one. Try cleaning it again. You can't get the motion tube out in this one. It's uh, peed over. Really if you can't get it clean, it's going to change it. Trying to get the cold fuel. I don't think it's fuel it yet. Make sure it's still got it. Got fuel in the bowl. Spray the knee. Ain't much of a choke on this. It's more open than choke. Try to hard choke it. See if we get full fuel in. Changes part with running for a little bit it might clean that tube out by just pulling fuel through it but there's a the tube that runs up the center has got a big hole in the center a bunch of little holes around the side and that's the emotion too but that's the problem it's not the holes in the side of the clog hang on right, we're gonna pull the top off this thing it looks like the choke's not closing I mean, that's the problem with it starting hang on 
There we get the top off of it here. It looks like jokes set up right. It doesn't mean that the oil system's working right. Use this heat to push this lever over to unchoke it and then when that cools down it, it push it lets it come back. Uh, the fan's supposed to just take over once 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 this uh choke system opens, uh, the fan will just keep it open so it doesn't have to rely on the uh, choke lever. Uh, this one seems to be working. I'm not sure if it's closing all the way though. I have to cool down a little bit. See if I can cool it off. And back. I just watched it go back. The little arm over here moves. I watched it go back. Closing all the way. Yeah, it's closing all the way. I'm gonna guess it's that the motion tube is uh, dirty. I can't get it out. All right, we're gonna bring it back on and get the cover put on. It's just a couple 10 millimeters here, a 5 16th to hold the dipstick, a uh, couple 5 16th on top for the gas tank. Nothing to it. We're gonna reinstall the air filter box and everything else here because sometimes this will cause enough vacuum uh, choke to help make it run hang on we'll be back just a couple screws here and then uh, put the cover back on now it didn't work so back that's the car really you can hear it that's the choke bolt in the open Choke, uh, open and shut, and open and shut, and every time the fan lights off, it'll be shut some. Eventually, the, the oil choke uh, thing that runs off the heat, off the muffler, picks it up, and uh, it'll push it open. If you take Yep, it definitely is a carburetor issue. Uh, take this cover back off one second. Mm -hmm. Yo, it's one of the dirtiest air filters I've ever seen. Yeah, we'll try a little trick here. Take something and put it between. I mean, this isn't a permanent solution. Find something to put between the choke lever and the housing. And I bet it runs real long. Yeah, I'm pretty loose. This would get you by if you, you need to finish cutting the grass. Are you picking up? Hang on, let me find some. I'll bring you back in a second. All right. This is get you through in the pinch. So you're cutting the lawn, you shut the motor off, and uh, and you have an issue with that little nice choke. Uh, a lot of times it'll be the opposite that you won't open it, it'll end up choking it. But anyway. Oops. I haven't put it the wrong way. <laughs> I didn't. Well, I might be out of fuel. I didn't put that much gas in it. Yep. Alright. <laughs> Stupid non vented tanks or gas cans. What a pain. Not dryer. Give it a little squirt here. Take a second to pick up fuel. Try like a cop. That'll get you through the pitch. I'll show you what we did. Covering the choke, whatever. We just put it in, put it on the lawn. That's what I'm going to be tired about at the end of the day. 
cable for the person who's out there. Right here. You loosen this bolt up and slide the cable down a little bit. It was slid way up because the handle, somebody adjusted the handle, this handle here so it was lower. Uh, yeah. So all they did was loosen this up, slid the cable down and give a little bit more pull on the on the cable that runs the personal uh, the personal pace system and boom, there you go. Back in business. Alright, like I said, I think we're gonna we're gonna call up the customer, see what he wants to do, see if he wants to order a new uh, carburetor for it, or wants to run with a piece of paper. I don't. It doesn't. It's not gonna hurt it. So, anyway, if you got any information out of this video, please like, share, subscribe, follow me on Instagram and on Facebook. It's part project for the video, drift grill, in the nature screenshots. Uh, the roots I find. I just did the uh, video of the bear found the. Was driving down to pick up a friend and there's the bear 600 pound the better standing on the side of the road just kind of chilling out looking at me so we shot a quick video of him didn't bother him didn't get near him didn't get out the car talked to him a little bit he wandered off so uh you know go check out my instagram and my facebook for them eugene factory repair and uh you know please hit that thumbs up make a comment if you would please it helps a lot with the videos getting them shared by uh youtube uh a very small small youtube uh following here Appreciate each and every one, though, that does follow. Thank you very much. From the bottom of my heart. And we're out of here. Peace. Yep. So the old paper trick behind the choking housing will get you get you by until uh, you can get your carburetor in or your uh, automatic choke on this. This one, uh, I need to choke this down. That's why I did But sometimes the automatic choke fails. It'll stay shut on you and you won't be able to start it up after it warms up. So that'll get you by. Uh, one side, if you put it on this side, it'll open the choke. If you put a piece of wire and then take a twist tie and just wrap around the bolt that goes through the top here, it'll keep the choke open if you have a problem with the choke staying shot. That'll get you the, the grass cut until you can either order a new uh, automatic choke or in this case, order a new carburetor. Alright, we're out of here.